my dear Virgo, this is a reading about what the person most on your mind would want to happen between you two with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. As an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there is a reading up personal life events moving forward for the full members to this channel. And what you need to know right now to make your life better is up for all the members to the channel. Extended and full members can also order readings from me with a 30% discount. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I used the Steampunk Tarot by Barbara Moore for the reading part and I will start shuffling your cards. So when I open your deck here, I see the Knight of Swords together with the Nine of Wands. So it seems like the person most on your mind are on their watch or on their guard a little bit. Uh, they feel uh, lonely and distant uh, from you, but in the same time, they are pretty curious what you're up to. Okay, so I call the Divine with Love and Light. And here we have the Ace of Wands uh, together with the Nine of Wands. Um, it might be that either they are going to, um, it's, it, it seems like they will message you, but I'm not sure what will be co the content of this message. So I'm going to check the oracle cards. Oh, sorry. Uh, Self-indulgence, focus on self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Uh, and uh, we also have the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation. Solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. And the lightning, which is uh, Ace of Wands. I don't know why I put the first card back. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my moisturizing cream <laughs> ends up on the cards. Uh, so, um, Ace of Wands, that's the force of lightning, yes. We have the tower here as well. And the sword uh, oh, and the rose, it's a little bit warrior energy, which is also this uh, Nine of Wands card here. Uh, so it almost seems as if they are a little bit angry with you or uh, they are uh, wanting to <clears throat> um, they want to discuss with you or they want to tell you something uh, about what has happened between you two and you know confront you or make something clear it's I think uh, it's a little bit anger but it's like self-righteous anger um um, I, I think it's healthy in a way, actually, um, with the self-indulgence card that we saw. I think it's a part of their healing, okay, their healing process, okay. So, I called the um, four archangels in the four corners of the world, and we have the page of cups with the nine of wands. So, I think they have, even if it's uh, like warmongering a little bit, they still have very good intentions, but it's almost as if... Um, uh, they are upset with something, they want to, you know, um, clear out any mistakes or um, straight the records and they're not doing this uh, out of spite, but uh, as a part of their healing process. Okay, so six elements and here we have the King of Pentacles with the World card uh, together with the Nine of Wands, which seems to be the significator. Um, this is Sagittarius uh, energy. It's about uh, like maybe being the only one uh, that feels in a certain kind of way, but feeling the necessity to stand up for this belief or fight for this point of view. Or um, So King of Pentacles and the World card, it shows a certain bond between you, like that you are in um, union, at least in a spiritual sense. Uh, so I think that you are very important for this person. So whatever you will answer to their uh, to their call is very important uh, to them. So you are an important person, even if you uh, currently don't see eye to eye uh, with them for some reason. Okay, six elements: earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading. Three of cups. The world, uh, 21, 2 plus 1, 3, 3. Um, I definitely feel as if this person would want to be able to be friends with you or to come together with you. It's just certain things need to be cleared out. Okay, 
uh, three of cups, two of cups. Uh, so it seems as if they love you, you're very important to them, maybe the most important person in the world, but you have had uh, differences of opinion in some way and, and you um, things have gone down between you and this person wants to discuss those things uh, and see if they can... Uh, clear up those things but mostly they feel a little bit self-righteous so uh, they might not be entirely right in what they are going to tell you or approach you with uh, but it, it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing you know keep yourself calm uh, tell your point of view your side of the story I felt like this when you were doing like that and therefore I reacted like this uh, so that uh, any misunderstandings can be cleared out in a positive fashion okay so i'll just tune in for a few seconds here to you the person most on your mind and what will happen between you two so uh, remember to subscribe for more videos like this and also hit the um, <laughs> like button if you like this video so this is uh, the uh, um, the <laughs> relationship moving forward uh, with you between you and this person and this is uh, what they would want to have happen between you two and we can see more of this um, fighting uh, position or fighting posture uh, seven or one someone standing upon the barricades uh, wanting to voice uh, their concern so this is uh, Marsh, the warrior planet Mars uh, in Leo, uh, then nine of wands is, um, uh, as I said, Sagittarius energy. It's pretty diplomatic energy, uh, and, but they are very firm and, and stubborn and uh, they really want the truth to come out. They want to be able to discuss the truth that um, in some way they have felt limited before. Uh, to discuss uh, the truth of how they view things between you or um, their views in general and this is the relationship moving forward and we have another wands card this is the six of wands it's connected to the lovers card uh, and it shows that uh, i think the person wants to make some kind of win-win situation between you two uh, but they are still um I feel like they are still um, opposing you or not fully agreeing with you. Uh, so we will see what will, uh, what kind of showdown we can expect here. Okay, so this is uh, this person's intentions. We have a five of pentacles. So they feel left out in the cold uh, by you. Um, I'm trying to understand why. So what, what, um, what happened here? stabbed in the back and separation uh, so they felt like you stabbed them in the back you surprised them with something lightning we saw the tower as well uh, and this caused the separation so if you have been separated from someone it seems as if they are blaming you that you abandoned them um, you got enough of them or you didn't um, appreciate them anymore you stopped loving them uh, things like this so um so they f they feel like the underdog the one that's abandoned uh, and the one that's uh, not being good enough for you basically and this is um, uh, their feelings for you and we have the queen of cups uh it came in the same position for cancer yesterday um so the queen of cups it shows the queen of hearts um they love you you live in their heart um they are the person that uh, that they adore you are the person that they adore, adore but um, they are also uh, feeling this separation because it's like you are on the inside of this window and they are on the outside suffering so you it feels as if you are uh, unreachable for some reason okay and this is how they view you uh, knight of swords um so uh, <laughs> it seems as if the kind of way that they are feeling now like righteous uh, self-righteous because they feel as if you didn't love them enough maybe you never loved them uh, maybe everything was just a game for you maybe you backstabbed them uh, because you just used and abused them okay uh, so this is probably um, some of the reasons that you had uh, for 
uh, ending things with this person in the first place or having a fallout with this person or a disagreement uh, with this person in the first place. Uh, so it seems as if you uh, first you went through these feelings and, and um, you know putting your foot down, uh, standing up on the barricades uh, and saying hell no to whatever was going on in your relationship. Uh, and now this uh, other party feels the same. Um, it, I think it's healthy. It's healing that's going on, but it's a precarious moment. That it's very easy to misunderstand each other or decide to just uh, load each other or hate each other. Um, it, it's um, why it's healthy. It's because now you can talk truthfully. Uh, now the person has probably had your experience let's say that you were in a relationship they felt everything was great you felt set aside you didn't feel respected you didn't feel that they put attention on to you and the relationship and you didn't feel seen heard loved all these kind of things so you did some kind of revolution and now this other person has gone through the same feelings and now they understand how it feels uh, so you are in a better position now uh, to come to an agreement than you ever were before. But that if, is if people can, you know, uh, really talk about their differences with a calm head and uh, um, try to uh, understand the other person's point of view and, you know, be very clear with how we formulate our words and also um, be compassionate if the other person gets stuck uh, in fear, for example, because this person seems pretty fearful to me right now. And if they uh, continue being fearful, uh, it might be hard to get through to them uh, with, with certain truths. Uh, for example, that, well, you actually did the same thing to me because you did this and that. And this caused my reaction because I didn't feel like you had my back. And now this person doesn't feel like you have their back. And um, it can be hard for them to see that it's the same thing. It needs to happen, you know, a little bit of eureka moment. The penny needs to drop. They need to, aha, oh, okay, so it's the same thing. Uh, so that's a little bit delicate. And um, uh, if we discuss with someone and they are very fearful, um, it's very easy for them to lock down on something and not even listen to what you are saying. So use you know, short sentences and, uh, you know, clear words. <laughs> so that's it. And repetition, say the same thing over and over again. So this is how they view your relationship. And it's the Ten of Cups. Um, so if they didn't appreciate you before, they appreciate you now. And they feel as if you are, um, you are the one for each other. You should um, be together. You should be the bestest of friends or you should be family, you should be lovers, whatever it is, what kind of relationship you have. Um, they definitely honor the relationship now and think that it's, it's a very valuable uh, relationship. That's, this is what they would want to have happen. And we have the hero font. So in some way, I feel like they want to be the head of this. They want to be the person that comes with a solution and you should be uh, kind of the student that listens to them. Um, it's um, it's a little bit precarious. It's it's sweet in one way because this person wants to make you their family, their tribe. Uh, but I'm getting the sense that they want to be the one calling the shots a little bit. Um, and um, I think that uh, whatever um, you discuss and whatever you um, whatever you decide upon, it needs to be. Uh, something that makes both people uh, being respected and uh, lifted up from the gutter. This is five and this is five. So all the fives are connected to the hero font. This is how we can. Uh, it's so hard to be in a society. Here we feel left out with the five of swords. We are angry with the other person wants to smack them in the head with what we know. With the five of wands, we are jealous and wants to compete and win over the other person. And with the five of cups, we feel disappointed because someone tried to win over us instead of loving us. <laughs> so here uh, I'm seeing this being a little bit of an issue. Um, instead of 100% um, respect for each other, uh, we might try to hit someone with our book um, in, in their head. 
Uh, it's just a temporary thing, though. If you say no to this, I think this person will rethink uh, because they still love you and wants to be with you. And uh, if you are full of self-respect and, you know, you just don't budge um, and, and let them take control or be the one that sometimes we can give a person the win because... Um, we see that it's very important for them. It's not important for us. And what what harm can it do? Uh, but in this case, I actually think that it can do some harm. So it's better to say no. You know, just say no. It doesn't have to be worse than that. Uh, it's not going to happen. Sorry. Then the person lose all their power in an instant and are going to be forced uh, to actually find common ground uh, together with you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this is the evolution of your relationship, and we have the King of Swords here. I want to see um, a little bit more who the King of Swords is, so I will read their mind, <laughs> okay? A hit and run. I feel you even when we are miles apart. I want to find someone new. I think this has been the person, maybe throughout your whole relationship, uh, they have put themselves in a safe position, hit and run, like making you as if you were not important enough to them, so that they could treat you in awful ways, as if they didn't fear losing you. Uh, so this um, put them in a powerful position where they didn't have to fear really losing uh, you, because they made it up to be as if you were not valuable to them in their own mind and in your eyes also. So I understand why you felt the need to, uh, to get away from this. And here we, we, I feel you even when we're miles apart. So they still feel the connection to you. And, um, and so they are more tormented than what they, um, than what they planned for. Uh, and this is um, um, taking them down a little bit from their high horse. Uh, but they don't want to be taken down from their high horse. So in their mind, they are probably making plans. Uh, so even if their heart is filled with love for you and wants to be with you forever, they probably make plans inside their head of um, how they can exchange you for someone else. This doesn't have to be too serious. You can probably see situations when you have felt the same, like if you were unable to, uh, to get across to another person, you probably felt that I need to leave this relationship and find something else. Uh, and this is what this person is doing. But the reason to why they need to find someone else is because um, they can't agree to level with you. And that's why we have the King of Swords here. They want to be uh, superior to you, tell you what you should do and what you shouldn't do, and you should obey to this because that makes them feel secure. And um, uh, so that would take the relationship back in time to the time before you made um, this revolution that then ended up in, in, in their revolution here because of they feel left out in the cold. Um, so I hope you are <laughs> you are understanding a little bit what I'm saying here. It's uh, pretty complicated. So nine of cups. Uh, so here we see this again. Uh, I want to find someone new, this kind of energy. Uh, you live in their heart, but they don't want to be able to not need you. Okay. Um, they do uh, love you, uh, but uh, they, want, they, they don't want to love you. They want to be able to not need you because then they can, you know, be headstrong my way or the highway, do whatever they want, uh, and it wouldn't touch them at all. Uh, so um, we see a little bit selfish reasons here, but it doesn't seem to work because, you know, um, here they are in all their glory uh, being without you and it's not fun and they are not sure if you even want them anymore. Uh, so it, it didn't work out as planned for this person or it won't work out as planned for this person. Um, they are in a predicament because um, they feel as you felt before you put your foot to the ground here and said no. And uh, if they want you, they need to um, be equal to you. And that's super scary for this person. So they want to find someone else they can exploit uh, in the way of having an unequal relationship. And that doesn't seem to work. And they seem to only want you. Five again, five, five, five. Uh, so they are in a little bit of a predicament uh, where the divine is almost forcing them to, you know, kneel before you. And here we have the Queen of Wands, uh, which I'm getting is uh, your energy here. 
you are not going to kneel in front of them anyway and the empress so i'm just seeing an increasing um, that they have an increasing need for you and this is also pissing them off because they would want to be uh, able to sit above their own emotions not care for you and do whatever the age they want and act uh, however they want uh, but love is kind of forcing them to look at this a second time uh, and see how valuable you are to them and that they can't degrade you in this way uh, so i would give this um, uh, if you really like this person because they are the most person most on your mind uh, give them more time maybe they will figure it out okay um, but in other case, it's um, problematic energy, yang energy. It's, it's very controlling. It wants to be on top because it's scared. And it wants to be on top so that um, because the control in itself makes them less fearful. Uh, but it's not fair to you because uh, then you are being unfairly treated by them needing this control. What about you and your control? What about you and your power and what you want? Um, no one cares about that <laughs> so <clears throat> it's almost as the most scared person is the one ruling the show and that's not healthy okay blessed this is um, the kind of advice for you uh, to stay cool like the divine is on your side they are working on this person to soften them up and realize that uh, unfair relationship is not going to work uh, moving into the future um, the f this is the other advice for you. The thoughts, I think, determine the relationship I attract. Not only does the power of your thought determine which people make their way into your life, but it determines how they behave once they get there. So you need to see how you have been disrespecting and degrading yourself and maybe taking the uh, second violin. <laughs> you have taken the second place. Maybe, maybe out of humbleness, maybe out of, uh, you know, you don't care for winning. So what's it to you? They can, you know, it's cute. <laughs> it's cute when they, you know, stomp around, think that they decide everything. But it's not cute when they actually believe it. You know, this person actually believes they are the head of you. And it's not cute. So you're thinking, um, want to say, you are think the thinking vibrating uh, attractor of your experience and the thoughts you think determine everything about your, uh, the life that you live. As you turn your attention towards the positive aspect of the personalities and behaviors of others with whom you share your planet, you will train your point of attraction in the direction of only what you desire. Uh, this is half true, but half not. It's, uh, uh, it's important to see, you know, the good Put as much energy into the good sides of a person as the bad sides. We tend to do the opposite. If someone says something bad that sticks with us forever, they said 10,000 good things and one bad things, and we remember the bad thing over and over and over again, uh, that's going to create them doing more of that, you know, the bad thing, because that's what's get, getting your attention. But it's also important to pay attention to red flags so we are not blind to it and, and living in a, a abusive situation because we feel like we are not... Uh, worthy of better then we need to realize we are worth better and then we will attract better uh, so this always complex like there's always two or million sides uh, to a story and there's two sides to your story as well see too that your side get heard like they are super attracted to you i'm not seeing them being able to get out of this and the divine is kind of teasing them and, and forcing them. Like the only way that they can get out of this is by um, admitting um, um, equality. Okay, that both sides should be heard. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing for you. And I would urge you to watch the love reading for February or the what do they want to happen between you from previous month to watch the development from then until now. On my first channel page, the page, there's a playlist for your specific astrological sign where you can watch all the latest readings for your specific sign in one single playlist. On the end screen, you'll see a link to that playlist, so go and check it out. And if you want to see the channel's readings in advance and ads free, you can become an extended members to, a member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members through the channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different levels through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. 
Thank you so much for watching this far. Remember to like and share this video and hit the bell notification on your way out to get updates when the next video is up. Until then, stay blessed and bye-bye.